Hey, what's up guys? Harvester Sports. Guess what? We're gonna talk about Brock Purdy. Everyone's excited about Brock Purdy. I get it, right? He is exciting because look, this is what happened. Trey Lance gets hurt. Jimmy gets hurt. You pretty much think the season's over if you're a 49er fan, but in comes Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant. Steps on the field and where's his first game against? Tom Brady and the Bucks. Brady's back in San Francisco. He's got hundreds of family members there. It's gonna be a blowout, right? Yeah, it was a blowout, but it's the other way, right? Purdy stepped in and played fantastic football. Fast forward a couple weeks, the kid hasn't lost a football game. The San Francisco 49ers are rolling. They're in the playoffs. They play the Seattle Seahawks. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you a little bit of that Seattle Seahawks game. And it's not all sunshine and roses. He's a rookie. He's a young kid. But what he does inside this system is fantastic. He makes play after play, and all he does is, you listen to his post-game press conference, what was really cool is all he said was, I'm just trying to get it to my guys in space. And when you watch the film, that's exactly what he's doing. Kyle Shanahan's built a tremendous system that we've talked about a lot. You guys all know how I feel about Kyle Shanahan, a great coach, by the way, who happens to get better as the game goes on. Weird how that works. As you look at the film and we dig into it, you're going to see some good, you're going to see some bad, you're going to see some places where Brock gets better even in the middle of the game and he learns from his mistakes, which is crucial if you're a young quarterback. So let's crack it off, okay? First play of the game, it's raining. Oh my gosh. He's in the playoffs. It's raining. Maybe he's got little hands. We're going to talk about... I don't... Who cares? But what happens on the first play of the game? He airmails it, right? Comes off the play action pass. Oh my gosh, he's got it, right? Great job, by the way, Kyle Shanahan, right? Big post, deep in route. Safety's got to make a decision. You had nice play action. You got the crossing route right where you want it, Right? got good protection, and you just airmail it. You throw it right over the top of Debo's head. Just just not good football, right? Just not good football. But you come back, right? You come back on the next play. Kyle Shanahan, what could he have done? He could have said, you know what? Let's just run the football. We're all at home saying, maybe run the ball 50 times. I even said it myself, right? It's wet. What does he do? No. Calls a play right down the pipe again. And what does he do? Rips it in there, right, to Brandon Ayuk. Fantastic. Watch this from the end zone, Okay. We're going to have play action. Watch number 57 right here. Okay, watch what Brock does with his eyes. Great job. Okay, holds him just long enough to open up this window. Boom, look at that. There's the window. Now, some would say this ball is a little bit behind. Okay, but just watch where he has to throw this. Okay, he has to kind of throw it there. Otherwise, it's going to get knocked down by the middle linebacker. So great catch by Brandon Ayuk. Great job with Brock holding him, holding that linebacker to the right just long enough to open up that window, rips it in there. So that means a lot to me because as a play caller, right, let alone, yes, in high school, right, you get a little nervous when your quarterback comes out and he throws the ball 20 yards over your receiver's intended head, okay? Then you come back, Kyle Shanahan, great job, just going right back to it, giving him another chance, all right? So then let's go down here, okay? So that was that was great, all right? Started off a little rough. A little rough. Here's, a, here's a play right here. This is really interesting. This is just a little late. This play is just a little bit late for Brock, okay? So what you have is you have a corner route. Okay, and then you got the deep end. Kyle loves that concept, right? The big post or the big corner with a deep end. You're throwing off that safety. All right, so here's what happens. Watch, watch Brock's feet, okay? Boom. See that hitch? The ball should be out right now, okay? Now, I'll give Brock a little bit of a leeway because that outside leverage right there, that takes you off that corner route. As a quarterback, you're not really thinking about throwing that. It makes you a little nervous. So that's why he's a little bit late there, all right? So as he lets it go... Yeah, it's not a great throw, but it's really because his feet were late, right? That's what made it a bad throw. So as you look at it from the end zone, you can see what we're kind of talking about here, all right? So you're going to see the action, boom, and you can see, right, a little bit. Watch the hesitation of the corner. See how he kind of squats? Oh, you got him, right? But Brock doesn't really trust it because of that outside leverage, all right? And that's just time in the pocket. That's just time in this system that he get, he'll get better at. He'll get better at it as they go on. What's crazy is he's going to get better at it as they go through the playoffs. So you see those hitches, right? If it's out right here, it's a touchdown, right? But because it's one more hitch, it's out late, he tries to force it, it turns into an incomplete pass, right? That's a, it's fine. They're going to keep cranking away. Here's another negative play, all right? And these plays, simple, right? You're going to see him get better, like I said, throughout the course of this game. Watch the middle linebacker right here that's on that right hash mark, Okay. This is an inside slant by Jennings, and you got Christian McCaffrey on the outside. Okay, so essentially you have inside slant, short in. Okay, these outside slants turn into short ends when that corner or linebacker is really flat. All right, so you got 
quick inside slant, but you got to hold this guy. That's the guy you got to hold, right? So it's a tough play. He tries to hold him. He ends up throwing it, and that linebacker gets a hand on it. Good play. But if you look on the outside, if you'd have just waited, right, just a little bit longer, you got Christian McCaffrey on that short end, all right? Don't forget about this guy either, okay? Let's remember that guy, all right, on this next play as we watch this thing roll. This is what I'm talking about. Brock getting better. He's frustrated with himself, right? Yeah, he's mad. Almost threw a pick to this guy. Watch it from the end zone, okay? Watch his eyes. He tries to hold him. That linebacker doesn't really move, though, right? That's a good veteran linebacker. Good play, right? Could have taken the short end on the outside to Christian McCaffrey, but didn't, all right? That's fine. You live and learn, all right? So what do we do? This is great because this is right after this. They go back to it. I think it was two plays later, all right? Same concept, different players. This is Debo now on the outside, all right? You still got Ayuk in here. You got Debo on the outside, okay? Same player, right? Brock's going to learn from his mistakes. That's what's so cool about this, okay? And he does a great job, okay? This is his superpower. Talk about Brock, Pur Brock, Brock Purdy. What does he do well? All right, he was the last guy picked in the draft, all right? But this is what he does very well. He gets through his progressions. He doesn't lock on guys, okay? If he makes a mistake, he's going to come back and learn from it. Watch this, boom. Top of the route, he doesn't have that inside slant again, right? And now you got outside leverage here, so you don't know if you're really going to be able to throw that outside short in. Seattle Seahawks got better too, but what did I tell you? Don't forget about that back. Don't forget about the check down. And Brock doesn't. Boom. Goes one to two. Doesn't have you the one. Bounces over. Finds his back. Big play. Right? It doesn't go down in the books air yards wise as much. I think it was four air yards that he threw the ball down the field. But this is a essentially a 17-yard play because he hit a check down. Right? So you don't have to be Josh Allen or Pat Mahomes or pushing the ball down the field to be highly effective. I think that's sometimes as we get caught up, it's like, oh, can Brock do it? Does he have enough to get it done? This is a 17-yard pass play that he threw four yards. While he's getting hit, he just gets it to the right guy in space, just like what he was talking about in his post-game press conference. It's a beautiful play. It's fantastic. It's exactly what Kyle wants out of his system. Watch it from the end zone. Watch this thing. Watch his feet. Looking left, one to two, slides to the left, still with his eyes, finds his back. That's great, man. That's really good for a young guy. Hard to do. Okay, watch this. So we're going to use run action with Christian McCaffrey. Okay, run action, Christian McCaffrey. We're hoping to get this safety to bite, to step up as run support. When I say run support, there's essentially a hat for a hat down here, right, in the run game. We got everyone accounted for, right? This is the free guy. These two guys, when you're down there playing in the red zone, these are the two guys that you want to try and affect with that run fake and then try and get something over the top of them. All right? So as we watch this play out, watch Brock's eyes off the fake, gets him over to the right, but he doesn't get what he wants. He doesn't get that bite, okay? So he bounces back, eyes to the left, okay? I want to rip it back in here, or I want to throw this out route, okay? Don't have that either. Man, I'm stuck. What do I do? I stay alive in the pocket. I move around, and I find the guy I just faked the ball to, Christian McCaffrey, out of the backfield. This is fantastic. This is, like I said, this is what Brock does very, very well, All right? This is why, if he didn't have this ability... We could say, yeah, okay, he was the last pick in the draft. He's not going to be much. But because of this ability to keep plays alive, to find his backs on checkdowns, that's why he's able to play at a high level so early. This is great. Watch the end zone, okay? The motion. We're looking at that safety on the right. A little fake. Eyes over there. Nope, don't have it. Back to the left. Nope, don't have it. Stay alive. Great job finding your back. That's essentially the fourth guy in his progression. And that guy doesn't really ever get out. Sometimes he's ended up getting washed up in the line. He doesn't have much room, okay? This is a great play. This is fantastic. This is extra level stuff, okay? So again, right, we're going to check. He ends up checking to outside zone here, okay? This is a full-on run, all right? Now, this is a pass-run option, not a run-pass option. This is a pass first, okay? Because we're either going to throw this pass or we're going to hand the ball off. We're not going to read it, all right? Because we're on the shotgun. We're underneath center. So we have to make a decision. It's really unique by Kyle, putting him, Christian McCaffrey, in a tight split. What does that do? It puts the corner on the outside, Okay? That's great coaching, all right? Great job creating this. He, Brock, thinks that he's going to get this type of action with the run. This is a key player right here, all right? He thinks he's going to get him to rush, right? Most of the time, that's what's going to happen here, all right? These guys are off the ball linebackers. They're going to read. So I think I can get this slant in, right, with this guy flowing, these guys flowing. What he doesn't expect, which is cool, is that this backer actually ends up dropping, all right? And the great part about Brock, he doesn't panic. So he says, I'm going to throw this, right? Look at this. Look at these backers running, okay? I'm going to throw this. 
Um, I got a huge lane back here. Uh-oh, the defensive end dropped, right? Don't panic. Great job not panicking. Sits on his back foot and just rips it in the second window. That's veteran stuff, man. That doesn't happen all the time. You can watch quarterbacks play for a long time, and they'll panic in that situation because that's not exactly what he expected to happen. That's not at all what he expected to happen. He expected that defensive end to rush. That's fantastic. Good job, Brock. I can see why Kyle loves you, why he's excited to watch you play. Look at this. Checks, wide zone, read number 10. No, I'm not even reading number 10. I'm reading number 34. Look at this. Look at 34. Look at the action. Boom. We got it. Why is number 10 hanging out back there? Maybe for bootleg. Maybe for something else to Christian. That's fantastic, man. That's a good job. That's why this team's legit. All right. This is my favorite play. All right. This is why Kyle Shanahan is legit. All right. This is why this team is legit. Because here's what happens. All right. I'm going to draw this out for you. We're going to get run action to the left here. Or sorry, to the, to the right here. The defense is left. Okay. So we're going to run action. Okay. We're going to get a fake. We're going to get movement. We're going to get use check coming back. To the defensive structure, this looks like boot. Kyle Shanahan, Mike Shanahan, boot all day, right? And we're going to get this deep over. We're going to get some type of comeback. We're going to get this guy in the flat. That's what we're getting, right? We know. We're locked in, right? We're these linebackers. We're going to start flowing that way. This is what's beautiful about what Kyle does, right? Look at this boot. Now watch number 57. Watch number 34. They see boot action, right? They're going to start flying this direction, okay? They're like, no, I've seen this 100 times. Nope, wrong. What you actually are getting, right, is deep. Take this guy out and run this guy on a deep end behind them the other direction. That's great confidence in your young quarterback to be able to see that because this is dangerous, man. This is kind of sketchy. You don't know what this guy's going to do. This guy could peel back, right? There's a lot going on here. Let's watch it again, kind of from the action. Look at, look at the backer's flow. This is all on Kyle Shanahan, okay? Now, it's a lot of confidence in your young quarterback to call this play, but to throw that back over there, big-time throw, big-time play by them, but man, great design. Great play design, great young quarterback. He's super confident. You see the throw he, he made right there is one of the ones that he missed early. It's the first play of the game that he missed, but they do it off of a different action. It's even more difficult. So Brock Purdy, like you're the reason that they're going to be in the NFC Championship game, I believe. You're also the reason I think you're going to be in the Super Bowl. You might even be the reason that you win the Super Bowl. The 49ers have been legit for a long time, okay? They've been a good football team. They just needed a quarterback that could rip through his progressions like this. Jimmy struggled with it a little bit, but he was good. He won games, right? Trey Lance was working his way through it. I could see why they liked Trey, because he was better than Jimmy at this stuff, at the progressions, at staying alive, at keeping his feet going. But Brock has it right now, and he's played... Every game that he's played, he's won, right? And he's only going to get better. As you can see throughout the game, he only gets better. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch these guys play, man. I can't wait to see what happens.